So I wanted to talk just a little bit about hosting and WordPress. Um, when you sign up for the GC codec hosting, I want to talk a little bit about what hosting is first. So a web host is a server out on the internet. Uh, we like to call it the cloud, okay, which is why you see this cloud. Um, and on this cloud, the server does different things. Like it hosts a website, it might have a database, it could be um, other servers, it could do some backup for you, it could be custom software, it could be an email server, file server, and so forth, right? So our hosting, when you go to gccodec.com and pay for this one semester of hosting that, that we uh, administer for you, we are actually hosting a website with a database backend. Now, WordPress is uh, what's called a content management system. Okay, there's lots of different content management systems. Um, some of these like WordPress and Magento and Drupal are uh, just different versions, Joomla, just different versions of a content management system. Think a place where you can go and um, build out a, uh, a website without having to know actual HTML. So this is what WordPress looks like, okay? And you would click and say, you know, start a new post, give it a title, type out some information, and click publish, and that would go out onto your website. So that's what a content management system is. That's what we're going to use in this class. So WordPress is one of the content management systems that are out there. It happens to be pretty popular. Um, this is 2020 statistics. It is a lot more popular than the other ones and this is just in the top 1 million sites so it, it makes up 32 percent of the top 1 million sites okay um, and to get into the 1 million is a it's kind of a pretty big deal so uh, very good it's a very good very highly used content management system you could do things in there like control what the appearance looks like. So as simply as going into your dashboard, clicking on appearance and coming over and adding a new, what they call a theme, clicking on the theme and clicking activate. Now your whole look and feel has just changed. Okay. You can add a post or a page. You can upload media to it and all without having to know too much about HTML. That's why we're going to use it. So, one of the things that everybody kind of gets confused about is when they look at the front end. Um, so this is the back end of when you log into the want the WordPress site. This is what the back end user, the 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 user that's going to put the information onto the website. This is what the back end looks like. Well, to get into the back end, you have to go to the login for the back end, and that's typically your URL forward slash admin or forward slash login. Both of those are aliases and they'll take you to what's uh, another alias called WP underscore login. So you would just go to uh, gccodec.com um, student, whatever your number is forward slash admin. So you'd add this part to the very end of your URL and it would take you to a page that had this on there where you will have a username and password that I would have given you to log into your WordPress site. Okay. One thing to note is when you're in the dashboard, you'll see plugins and there might be some plugins to keep updated. So you always want to make sure that your plugins are updated. And we'll go through that in this class on how to keep your plugins updated and you can add other plugins. So we're going to talk about that also and how to add other plugins that we'll be using in this class for uh, the e-commerce portion. So for now, just know that your your website that you're getting is hosted out in the cloud. It's not actually at Georgia College, but it's hosted out in the cloud. Georgia College is the middleman. We go out, Georgia College pays for the host, uh, the hosting software uh, servers and stuff. And then we distribute it out to the students as they use it, um, which is why we are able to give you a good website with a database and we administer it. So then we can go in and make sure that your username and passwords and everything's set up correctly. Uh, as for the needs of our classes. So um, go to gccodec.com with the dash, gc-codec.com. Find the student semester one. And uh, if you're going to purchase it, it's $9.99. And that's in lieu of you're not going to need a book or anything. So that's essentially the extra cost for this class. Um,
And if you have any questions, just shoot me an email.